I consider myself a bit of a World War II buff. So when I saw that Tommy Lee Jones was playing General MacArthur in Emperor, it was a necessity that I check this out. The film is actually about a brigadier general who is assigned to investigate Emperor Hirohito's guilt in the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So this guy has to go out amongst the Japanese people. He has to interview and investigate officials, officers, and politicians right after Allied forces have bombed Tokyo to ashes. Yeah. That's a suck job. When MacArthur assigns the Brigadier General to the investigation, we just don't know anything about our main character, but that's okay. As he goes forward looking for the truth, we get flashbacks into the Brigadier General's life. We see that he fell in love with a Japanese woman back in the States and that she moved to Japan right before the war. Now we understand how he understands Japanese culture so well, but we see where this drive is coming from, and he's trying to find the woman he loves. She might be alive, she might be dead. He doesn't know, we don't know. It's very compelling, but also he's trying to find the truth. Should the Japanese emperor be excused, or should he be publicly hanged? So yeah, this is a serious movie. We have an army officer investigating the Emperor of Japan at the end of World War II. So this film must live in tension. And the performances kind of just feed into this because they are restrained. They are subtle, much like the Japanese culture and much like this officer. He has to be subtle to make headway with the people he's investigating. This film wouldn't work if it just wasn't powered by pure drama interesting romance, compelling mystery. Emperor has all of these things and right at the center is Matthew Fox as the Brigadier General. Now, I had no idea he was capable of this level of performance. I mean, honestly, I thought he was still stuck on the island because, you know, I never finished Lost. How did that turn out? Anybody? <laughs>